Hand catching is a bit like Marmite or Vegemite. You may never have tried it, and even then, you'll either love it or hate it. And whilst I'm indeed a lover of this crazy food, the Mavic Mini has such short legs that it can actually make takeoff and landing from the ground a bit tricky. So today we're playing around with the different ways to launch and land the Mini by hand, keeping it up out of harm's way. Hello, I'm Ian in London, a CAA PFCO trained uh, drone operator who plays with many different drones, much larger than the Mavic Mini, but all of which I can launch and land by hand. Sometimes the ground can be wet, muddy, dusty, or just got long grass. You may got crazy dogs who want to dive bomb the drone and would really hurt their eyes or their snout if they hit the spinning props. Metal tables or the roof of your car is no good as that will simply give you a compass error. So unless you have a nice big wooden table uh, like I have, uh, hand launching and catching will often make sense and it's way easier than you may think. So hand catching for landing will work if you're landing manually uh, using the left stick down or whether it's in an auto return to home mode. Either way, when it's around six foot above you, hold your hand out flat and just let it descend. The downward sensors will see your hand and it may stop for a second or two just keep the hand flat and still, and if you're manually landing, keep that left stick down. After a brief pause, it'll start descending again and gently land on your hand. As said, you can either hold it firmly with your fingers and thumb or just keep your hand flat. It's your choice. But the crucial thing is to keep your hand still until the props stop, which may take another second. So let's see that again. Keep the left stick down, hold your arm out, and just let it land gently. So the other half of this video is on hand launching. I've done it this way round because as I said, landing is crazy easy and you really can make use of that everywhere. Launching would actually be just as easy if you had three hands because you need to hold the drone, the remote, and you also need to press some buttons on the screen. So if you haven't got huge hands, then the easiest way is to hold the drone in one arm and rest, rest the uh, uh, remote and the screen like that so you can actually then uh, tap the screen as necessary. There are two ways to launch. You can use the auto launch and you can also launch a manual way. So if we use the auto launch, then first of all, you've got to press the uh, little auto launch button on the left hand side. You then have to press and hold the uh, pop up button in the middle of the screen. And the moment you let go of that button is when the props will start off. And a second or two later, it'll actually gently take off from your hand. So like I said, you can rest the remote on your arm or you can uh, try and uh, jam it between your arm. Whether or not you're holding the drone with two fingers and a thumb or just leaving it flat on your hand, again, it's your choice. But as I said, to use the auto takeoff, tap the little left icon, then press and hold the middle button. And the moment you let go of that middle button, it'll just take off. Like I said, the other way of hand launching is to use the manual takeoff. So there you're going to be using, you're going to be starting this, the props with the CSC or the combined stick control. All that simply means is you're bringing both sticks down to the uh, innermost lower corners. That'll start the props off. And then um, all you need to do is actually just lift the drone up and it will take off by itself. So let's just run through that again. You're going to put both sticks into the inner lower corners. That'll start the props up gently. And then all you need to do is just gently lift the drone up and it will take off by itself. So there you go. A uh, bit easier than you might have thought. And uh, to be honest, I do actually use my hand most times when I'm landing the Mavic Mini. But if you're not sure about it, then just don't do it. You can always get yourself a folding landing pad like this from Freewell. As long as you haven't got any crazy dogs on the ground that are going to dive bomb it, then a landing pad like this will do the job fine for you and give you somewhere clean and flat to land each time. So anyway, a uh, few things to think on there. As ever, if you like these videos, then hit the old sub, ding the dong for me and thumbs me up. It all helps the cause and it helps the dreaded YouTube algorithm for me. Either way, until next time, have fun and happy flying.